Okay, let's calculate the amount of heat absorbed by this piece of nickel as it's been roasted in this Bunsen burner's flame. To do that, we're gonna use the mass of the piece of nickel, which was about 67.0 grams. The specific heat capacity of nickel, which is 0 0.444 joules per gram degree Celsius. And the temperature change. We went from 20 degree, sorry, 22 degrees Celsius to 700 degrees Celsius. So the change in temperature is the difference between those. Okay, so if I take 700 minus 22, we get, let's see, it'll be 680, 678. Six hundred and seventy eight degrees Celsius. Now, since this is getting hotter, that should be a positive change in temperature, not a negative. OK, so with that, as long as we take our mass times our specific heat capacity times our change in temperature, we should be able to figure out the heat that our nickel absorbs here. I can help with this. I want to put a little Ni for nickel down here to help me remember this is the heat that the nickel absorbed. Okay, so I'm going to grab my calculator, just right here. I'm taking 67.0 times 0.444 times 678 all right, what I get by multiplying these all together, it's about twenty thousand one hundred sixty nine. Point one four four ish, and my unit should be in joules. Okay, now you can just say, Hey, I'm looking for heat, so my answer is going to have a unit of joules, or you can check mathematically to make sure that you've got the right unit. Okay. Our grams unit here is going to multiply to the per grams here that's getting divided. Multiply, divide, those cancel out. Same thing for our degree Celsius. Since that's also per degree Celsius that's being divided, this is being multiplied, they cancel. So what's left is the unit of joules, which is why we get joules as our unit for our answer. Okay, so our nickel absorbed 20,169.144 joules of heat, or somewhere in that ballpark, depending on how you're round. Okay, and since it's a positive number, that shows that it is being absorbed. This is not like, uh, you know, being released or something like that. Now, we're actually going to go and use this amount of heat to figure out something else. If we go and cool off this piece of nickel in a cup of 100 grams of water, we're going to predict how much the temperature change should be and what the final temperature of the water will be once that temperature change happens, once the temperature increases by that much. Okay, to make this problem a little simpler, we're going to kind of cheat a little bit. We're going to assume that all of the heat absorbed by this piece of nickel 
is going to be perfectly transferred to our sample of 100 grams of water. So our piece of nickel takes in all that heat from the flame of the Bunsen burner and then whoosh, passes it all on to the water. In reality, this is not the case, but it makes the problem a lot easier to work out on you know, an assignment. So you know, bear with me. So this is a little bit of, of a, um, you know, a fake problem, I guess. Uh, but for this example, we're going to assume that all the heat from that nickel passes perfectly on to the water. We don't lose any through uh, you know, water steaming up and evaporating or through the sides of the cup or anything like that. All that heat gets passed on to the water. Okay? We're going to use that amount of heat passed on to the water, which is what we calculated here, to figure out how much the temperature of the water should change by. I'm actually going to erase this so I can make some room. So this 20,169.144 joules of heat is now getting absorbed totally by our 100 grams of water. That should be equal to the mass of the water times the specific heat capacity of the water times the change in temperature of the water. I do know the mass of the water. We started with 100 grams. And I can also look up the specific heat capacity of water. It is 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius. Okay. So what we're missing is going to be the change in temperature that the water goes through. How much hotter does it get when it absorbs that much heat? Okay. So I want to solve for this delta T. I want to solve for this change in temperature. How much hotter did it get? Okay. 